be careful, she average, I'm pressure, yeah, I'm pressure, I'm pressure, licious, yeah, I'm pressure, I'm pressure, I'm pressure. She pressure licious and I crave. <laughs> so, on April 2nd, 1975, the world was blessed with the birth of Jose Pedro Palmaceda Pascal. The rest is a legendary hey. tale of elegance, grace, and triumph on the rise to international fame. The Chilean born star is indubitably one of the most elite <laughs> actors of our generation and arguably the most popular at this time. Mm -hmm. This special edition episode of our show is all about the icon that is Pedro Pascal. Welcome to the Pedro Tastic Four. Oh, hey, yo. that was not as sweet as I'd like, but I'll I'll take it. It, it was good. The Ped Pedrastic Four. The Pedrastic yeah. Four. Mm, Ped no, 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 no. Pedrastic. Pedro 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 yeah. The Pedro Tastic Four works a lot better. <laughs> well, hello there, Pod Avengers. Welcome back to another episode of the Pod Tastic Four. It's your boy Blacksby, aka. Pedro Black Scow. And today I have with you. <laughs> nice. Uh, I can I can say that because I'm black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For all our audio listeners, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. If you have been listening for these last like 22 episodes, 21, 22 episodes, oh, and you haven't oh. known by now, yes, I am black. <laughs> <laughs> Stalker, Blacksby is reveal. Black the great is yeah. black. Massive reveal, Avengers level big bad reveal. Anyway, oh, yeah. <laughs> Pedro Blackscale is here along with the Daddy Lorian, <clears throat> Pedrito Pascalito, and Pedro's prospective <laughs> sugar baby. Let's go. Let's, go. God, just, Let's be real here. I'm before I get into the rest right of this now. this intro, yeah. Before I get into the rest of this intro, man, these are some of the most creative names we've come up with in the last like two, three weeks. Is it? It's just we just on. I literally just I don't know. Myself, <laughs> Pedrito Pascalito. That's it. Like, said his name. Yeah, it's just, hey, you it know, works. The girl version. No, but your name is girl version. No, that's actually like creative. Who? Yeah, uh, Madden Graham. Yeah, I know. Because I mean, they don't have. We just have his name. I just yeah. came up with mine, you know, a minute ago. You know, I'm just. He just spitballed it. Spitballed it. Drew, talk to him. You know, talk to Let him. him. Know. What's uh, Joel's last name in the last? Miller. Miller. We got Daddy Miller. Um, what's his name? Daddy, Daddy Jarin. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 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 That's Pedro. Daddy Oberyn. That's Daddy That's Martell. who we're talking about today. That's exactly what we're Martell, talking yeah. about today. And speaking his, of Pedro, everybody represent your shirt real quick. Everybody put up um, your, your shirt real quick. We got go. the swagger on. They got him. They I got, got the him, Pedro's, the, the drip. The Pedro checks. Pedro, so Pedro so checks came Pe in. Yeah, the Pedro, if you yeah. can tell, the so Pedro was, checks came in. I used that HBO money to re-up on my chain. <laughs> I had to do it. I brought the, the glasses back. I'm swagged out. We all got our Pedro <laughs> shirts on. Swagged out. That boy, they that got boy, my address. That boy wrong. Fabio got his hair down. He got his chain on I too. We just dripped on. out. Luis got his his glasses on. And his hat backwards. Because <laughs> I, on. I can't see if I don't wear them. <laughs> Graham's got headphones. <laughs> Hey, Graham's got going? headphones. Go. I, he, they mailed here. the check to the wrong address. Mm -hmm. so. You're waiting for a refund. Wait on it. We're, we're yeah, waiting. Yeah. <laughs> so as y'all as y'all can tell, for our, our our wonderful and amazing audience, if y'all can't tell by now, we're talking about the one and only Pedro Pascal. <sighs> but before we do all that, we need y'all to Chewbacca smash that subscribe button. <laughs> Star Wars reference, so you do not miss out on the most entertaining <laughs> podcast on nice. the planet. Now, uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna redo that one. We need y'all to mythosaur the source smash. That's yeah. subscribe button, so you do not miss That's out a deep on the cut. most entertaining. Force smash. Not a lot of people know that one. <laughs> they will after this. Maybe a force smash. Spoiler alert! Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. But first things first, I would love to shout out a um, good group of people uh, I met in the store the other day. To shout out GG Luxury Cleaner, two sisters with a broom. Um, Let's go. If you need any any residential any residential and office cleaning, go ahead and hit them up. They are located here in. Oh, hold on, I can't read right oh. now. Oh, damn! Call Illiterate. call um call four six nine six eight six 
one two nine zero or text nine zero one two zero five four two seven one for all your cleaning services. So yeah, shout out GG. Shout out GG. Shout out GG. Thank you, GG. Our first GG luxury cleaning. GG. I didn't get sponsored for that. We just no, no, she's just sponsoring me. That check better come in. <laughs> that's that, that. <laughs> What's that GG's cleaners check? If that check doesn't come in, I'm a I'm a re hey, that please. number and I'm gonna have some some comments. <laughs> <laughs> We're joking. We're joking, GG. No, we love you, GG. Thank you. Speaking of, <laughs> we love GG. Shout out GG cleaners. Yes, thank man. you. Yeah. Speaking of cleaning and clean up, ep- something so clean, so fresh, so clean, like this episode of The Last of Us that we just watched. <laughs> Bro. Bro, these had... segues, man. I love them. All right. I'm ghostwriting for somebody one day. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah. All right, yeah. I'm, before we get into this Pedro episode, let me just say one thing. Jeff Loveness, move over. I'm taking your job, bro. I'm writing <laughs> Jeff, Kang please. Dynasty. Me. Please. We was we was Kang's dynasty. That's what's going to be called. We was Kang's. <laughs> no, Avengers. Avengers. We was Kang's. Avengers, we, we was, was Kang's. Kang's, and just leave it at that. <laughs> yes, that's fire, exactly. bro. That's fire. Exactly, yeah. bro. K Feezy, hit us up. K Feezy, K Dog, bro. <laughs> when you see me on the next episode with another chain on, just know the Marvel check. <laughs> the Marvel check through. cleared. We're all gonna the be Marvel sipping some clean. Marvel coffee with coke. cigars. Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna have a. I'm gonna have a. a to- I'm gonna have a. What's it it's, called? It's um, a Marvel light. <laughs> I'm gonna have. A, I'm gonna look like Obadiah Stane in the first Iron Man. I'm gonna be bald. Have a big old chain on my beards and be like here. White like cigars. Like, He's gonna be white. Like <laughs> uh, my name will be O O Black Di- O Black Dias nice. Stane. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're getting two on him too early. Let's he's allowed. Know. He's allowed to say that because he's black. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Let's get back into our content for this episode. Our our <laughs> wonderful topic, Pedro Pascal, uh, the Last of Us episode eight. Before, which is wait, sorry. Before we we, we start talking about that, I, I just wanted to mention or, or uh, bring up the fact that um, the. Ha- like it, it's just so commendable. Like the fact that Pedro Pascal has he has two of the biggest shows on television out at like the yep. same time. That's crazy. That's mm-hmm. insane. The, the mm-hmm. fact that the Mandalorian mm-hmm. is what it is he's, and it has been for him. Uh, yeah, and, and and now The Last of Us and it's doing what it's doing. And both of these shows are running congruently with it. That's insane i'm just so happy for him i'm Legend. so proud of him yeah. you know and so i just think yeah. you know you know we, we we've given him his shower his flowers his showers i wish his showers i, wish I was giving him his showers golden ones <laughs> uh we've given him his flowers um before um off camera but i just think i just think it's so um you know, I'm just so happy for him and proud of him that that he's as successful yeah, as he I, as he as he is, and he deserves everything. And I just love him so much. Ah, yeah, I think you speak for everyone when yeah, you say father. that because we've been hyping. You know, we've Absolutely. we've been watching him in the, all across these these last few episodes of The Last of Us. Obviously, Mandalorian season mm-hmm. one and two, and now we're on to season three, which we will discuss later on. But <clears throat> just seeing him perform at such a high level in all these shows is just amazing to see. And you know. We've seen him across, you know, Narcos, Game of Thrones, Wonder right. Woman eighty four. I'm rolling my eyes behind my glass. You can't see. <laughs> he was the he was the standout of that whole movie. That movie. That movie Which, I mean, that's not saying much. Yeah, he is amazing in yeah. that. Movie. He was amazing. He didn't have to do much to stand out. No, so, hot, but hot, he's no, hot out. that'll surprise nobody. I like that movie. Uh, I'm being real. I do. Ooh. I know you are. Hey, but he doesn't like, like Man of Steel. I think it's fun. I think it's yeah, but I don't oh, like Man of Steel. Brother, this guy stinks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody out there will agree with me and Free for that person. I see you. And it'll just be I all hear too. you. And I respect you and I love you. This is a safe space <laughs> for your Wonder Woman. I don't. <laughs> disrespectfully. This is not a safe space for Wonder Woman. Yeah. The first hey, Wonder Woman. Disrespectfully. The first Wonder Woman. This is a dangerous Amazing. space. Amazing. The second one. Yeah. Mm. Garbage. Disrespectfully, no. it's horrible. Garbage. Wow. I hear you. That movie is part of that movie is part of the reason why the DCEU is now dead. I mean, anyway, yeah, yeah. 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 That, movie, that movie, yeah, okay. Hey, but shout out Pedro. Yeah. Shout out Pedro. Max Lord. Pedro <laughs> Maxwell, <laughs> no, Maxwell yeah, yeah. Loren. Was it Maxwell Loren? Maximiliano Lorenzo. Maxi- Lorenz. Thank you. Lorenz, is that what it was? It's something like that. No, no. I was like, <laughs> it was something like 
it was Max, it, it was Maxwell really, say it Lorenzano. Like this, Maxwell Lorenzano. <laughs> and that boy was code switching too. Yeah, he was. He was <laughs> As we <laughs> all do. <laughs> As all people of color I do. I code switch all the time. He's I code great. switch every like five seconds at work. I have to. Stay so alive. way to survive. <laughs> <laughs> but like enough of my, yeah. enough of enough of enough yeah. of our our sorrow. Enough, enough of your survival about, tactics. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's talk. Let's talk about the real survival tactics that we saw from Ellie nice. in uh, the Last of Us episode eight. Good. She, <clears throat> Bella Ramsey, they put on a phenomenal. And I mean, we I know the last episode was Bella's episode, but this was really Bella's yeah. episode. Yeah, uh, this, this was my favorite. This, this right was here, to me than the last this right here was the truth. Bella solidified mm-hmm. themselves as like a, an up and coming superstar. If you're one of those weirdos that, that, talking, that wasn't like uh, convinced about their casting or their performances up to date mm-hmm. or whatever, like it, uh, objectively We're speaking, bullying. yeah, and I'm gonna beat you up. But objectively speaking, if you <laughs> if you if you see this episode and you don't come out of it thinking, "Wow, Bella Ramsey is phenomenal, wow. is amazing," mm-hmm. then you're fucking. You're blind it or should dumb have taken or both, you because th- they were amazing. It sh- this is what I have to say to this. Shouldn't have taken them this long to... for them to realize that Bella Ramsey is. It's sh- they're, if they it, aren't convinced, they're, if they weren't convinced by this point, they're then, fucking yeah, awesome. they're weird. Yeah, they're weird because, because we, we, all know why. Say, we all know why they don't like. This is what yeah. I. This is what I have to say. Yeah, this is all I have to say to the Bella the Bella Ramsey haters. This is the only thing I gotta say to them. There you go. Exactly. Kiss. Kiss my Pedro Black Scala ass. Right? <laughs> hey, in all of there. the uh, you can stop. Yeah, you can yeah. stop being. You can stop being delusional. Stop being wrong for one. Okay, yeah. Bella yeah. sold every scene, and in this episode, I watched this. I watched this basically twice. Uh-huh. Okay? Basically, not really, but I, basically. <laughs> I, I I watched Went it one time highlights. through already, and I, I watched it one time through already, and I kind of been watch. I've been, I watched it a second time at the stop because Mando came out, so I was like, I right, gotta right, watch right, that right, right, right. Then I'm gonna jump yeah, back yeah, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. and this this is this is and for those of us who played the game, and you know we knew we kind of know we knew where things were going. Like I said, like mm-hmm. we said in the last six episodes, seven episodes of this of this uh, the Last of Us reviews, we knew where things were headed in each each episode. But the way they put it on screen in this blew my freaking mm-hmm. mind. Yeah, I was I was on, I was like I was like on the edge of my seat. I was like this. I was like this. I was doing everything. I felt every emotion. I saw Bella portray a range of emotions and basically yeah. flip a switch between the you know kind of meek, meeker, uh, emotional, caring Ellie to this. Well, it's about in- it's brutal, about innocence, survival. right? It's about loss of innocence. Yeah. And, and both and, and that, Ellie, exactly. Ellie goes through that journey, right? That loss of innocence that. Despite exactly. everything, she, every, her, everything she's seen, everything she's been through, you know, nothing has been quite as. This was the yeah, final. Nothing straw. has been quite mm-hmm. as traumatic or as damaging to her, you know, uh, to her uh, as this moment with 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 this character in particular. Mm-hmm. And I just thought that that uh, to be so young uh, as Bella Ramsey is, and and to carry such a uh, carry such an episode of television with surrounded by such phenomenal actors who are way older than you and have much more experience than you and you're able to hold your own every fucking yeah. scene line for line bar for mm-hmm. bar is is amazing dude word for word there you go and 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 and, 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 I, and I can't scene. give them i can't Sick. give them enough credit because it truly is such a di- because that's that's one of the things in Hollywood. It's like, oh, never work with child actors or animals is what they say because they're so you know with children and animals because they're so difficult to work with. And you know, <clears throat> what about a yeah. what about a child animal? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, even Those worse. Okay. I would imagine. Yeah, but it's just like it's just like they're <laughs> they're so. I don't know, man. I'm at a loss for words. It's just at how talented they are, and I think, and I think that this episode Agreed. is just like that's going in the and the it, it in, in the Emmy nominations. Whenever they're nominated for their Emmy. Uh, that's going in the real. Is that is is a scene from this episode and just how phenomenal they they truly are? Yeah, I can name three scenes from this episode. That belong <laughs> in the real, the cage one was... that was insane. Honestly, and let's 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 because we're gonna keep hyping Bella up. Let's put a pause on the Bella the Bella praise. Let's talk about Scott Shepard as David. Oh, I've never ha, like let let fi- let mm. let Gerardo speak because no, 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 I want you to go first. Go I want you to go first. I want you to go first. We all. I, like I was gonna him. say is I, 
I haven't I haven't I thought had it was a, great. I haven't had a character that I liked and hated at the same time since like Homelander, you know. Mm. He's Kathleen just, from two Kathleen. Weeks ago. Yeah, I hated yeah. that. I was like, <laughs> like, like bro, oh, I hated her. I was like, bro, oh, I, I can't. I was like, I can't wait until she gets packed up. But like, the acting is so good. It's like you can't, you can't just, you can't deny. You know? This one hit me a little harder than hers. Of course, of course. Right. Oh yeah, I wanted you know, David to die much more than I wanted Kathleen to die. 100%. Oh, like, oh yeah. yeah I don't no, think that's whenever, controversial. First of all, when she, when 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 Ellie took that cleaver and put Troy Baker slash James in the pack, I was like. We're smoking James Pack, but I knew, but I knew the real, the real one was coming. Mm-hmm. The real pack was landing, mm-hmm. and we got that David Pack. I was so excited, I, bro. Mm-hmm. First of all, so was this pretty trigger, spot trigger on warning? The trigger warning for anyone for anyone who hasn't seen the episode or who is going to watch the episode. There is a certain scene in this in this in episode eight that may trigger some of you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's your trigger warning. I'm giving y'all a, a fair trigger warning. However, that scene right there, and we really came to that boiling point of the episode, and Ellie snapped and freaking oh, took oh, yeah, David oh. out. David oh. Pack, we, everybody get your lighters right now. David Pack in the air, smoking that David Pack, light him up. But it was just done so well, and it really, it was really heartbreaking, honestly. That man got a blowtorch. He <laughs> got a blowtorch. I can't find mine. But that brings up no. I actually, I actually like. It was really, it was really heartbreaking, and like it was, it was, it was stomach churning because I, you know, yeah. you know, what he was trying to do what he was, was going to happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, bro, mm-hmm. I want to throw up right now. I wanted to punch him in the face, and then you know, at the end of the day, I know he's acting a role, but like you just, it just, you look at him like, bro. I hope you step on thumbtacks everywhere you go. I hope there's snow <laughs> in your driveway. I hope your tires are always flat. I hope your car runs out of gas yeah. at full. So, I something that, I, that uh, I want to mention. That's the real Scott Shepard. We, we, right. right we love Scott. 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 Yeah. 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 Uh, but no, something. Yeah. Yeah. David yeah. Pack, but Scott something Shepard. Something I thought great. that was very, very right. interesting about Scott Shepard's interpretation of David was that, was that he is kind of like, uh, he is menacing and and evil and vile but the, but there's this kind of this mm. sort of like mm. warmness to him which yes. makes it which yeah. which makes yeah. it that yeah. much worse right because there's something about him more that, more that kind of draws you to like him, a that, pastor mm-hmm. yeah mm. no, no and more that it was more red no, flag. You know, you know what? Red flag. sorry sorry to, sorry to interject but you just what you just said was i was literally thinking that right before you uh-huh. said it I don't know if you're like reading my mind right now, but like that is exactly what was. That's what makes him so diabolical as a character because you want to be, you want to, you know, you want to have someone to lead you and guide you and make you feel safe and be that fatherly figure. Give you faith. But he's exactly give you faith. But he's also an evil piece of so, shit. So Gerardo, he's terrible. So go continue. So, I'm sorry. so I'm I, I think it's pretty it safe to assume that the both Matt Graham and myself were big fans of Scott Shepard's performance in this in this episode. You, uh-huh. however, were not really? so much, right? What, no, 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 not true, not true. Okay, what I is thought it? Scott Shepard did great. I thought it was well done. I just didn't. I don't even want to say light because I fucking hate them both, right? Uh-huh. But I prefer mm. the games, David, because I felt he was more menacing. Okay, like uh, this, more the show evil. is far more. Yeah, not so much more evil, but it's far more more below nuanced. the surface when. Yeah, Give I know. Me some I know. Insight. Give me some comparison. Right. Tell me how. Uh, in the game, in the played. game, he leads a group of bandits and that are cannibals, not a bunch of fucking mm. Mormons who don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they're all fucking Bro, evil. <laughs> they know it. They know what David's doing, and they don't give a fuck. All right. It's that in word. Show, it's it's that's that, so word, it's that word I've been throwing around since the, the beginning, game. since episode, since we've been covering episode one. That's nuance. You know. I know. Nuance, I know. I know. Nuance. Up, nuance, up, nuance. I know. I'm just saying. I, I preferred. I, but that does no. make a difference. It does. I know. And, but and I, I, <laughs> and also I I I not that like I understand why they couldn't, but I think it sucks that we didn't get the scene with uh, Ellie and David. Fighting oh. some infected, even if it yeah, wasn't like a I was fucking looking barrage. For, I was looking forward to that scene, like and we didn't get it. Yeah, because that endears you, know, you, you to know. him. You think like, oh shit, this guy is not a bitch. He can help you. And if you don't know what's <laughs> going on, you're like, maybe y'all can team up, all four of y'all. You know, these these are some friends. Mm-hmm. That's well, not the case, so, but that's what you're thinking. Something that I was gonna say was was that I I, I like. Again, me liking Craig Mason adaptive choice. That's crazy. Um, but I, I really liked I really liked the choice of making David uh, a, a religious leader, 
right? Mm. Yeah, I, I agree. I, and a look, I, think, I think it's very, sure. look, mm. and we're not here to talk religious beliefs or faith or anything like that. This is not the podcast for that, right? But but I do think mm. Craig Mason very apparent and very clear how he feels about um, people who Authority. people Perk who systems. use uh, and exploit. Uh, faithful, hopeful, hopeless people um, by luring them uh, via faith and religious ideologies uh, into following uh, kind of charismatic leaders. So, so I think that aspect of it was very apparent, uh, very obvious. But I did yep. dislike it because I think I think it rings uh, close to home, and I think it rings true, and I think that's a very accurate mm, uh, depiction of kind of like. What goes on in in today's uh, you know today's uh, world and kind of uh, uh, how a lot of a lot of people uh, carry themselves and exploit the, the the helpless and and those less fortunate and and I thought that was a very very um, specific and very successful adaptive choice and I liked it because I was like yes. I was like, of course, yeah. a person like this and a group like this would exist in the apocalypse when everything has gone to shit. Yeah, exactly. You're going to tell yeah. me some dude's not going to take yeah. advantage of religious uh, uh, scriptures and readings to try to control a group of... And he's going to be course. corrupt. And he's going to be a horrible piece of shit. And slowly no. corrupt the, creep, the people that are following him exactly. blindly who uh, just see this figure who just seems to be nice and has helped and they can't see past this fakeade of corruptedness yeah. and like realize that you're eating I fucking can... human body, you know, you're eating human meat and that's how he can, I feel like, get away with the cannibalism is just because he's his father religious and well, he's also a fucking sociopath like a figure, and so kind of like a fucking <laughs> 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 an evil piece of shit. He, even, he, openly, he openly admitted to, I mean, first of all, I can, I can, I can name oh. a certain I can name a certain, I won't say his name for legal reasons. <laughs> I can name a certain <laughs> I can name a certain Houston-based uh, spiritual leader who fits this description very well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He might oh. maybe be based on loosely. <laughs> loosely, uh, detail. loosely or like Another sim, sim, some flimsily. flimsily. Another detail that flimsily. I did like about this. I forgot about that piece. What did you say, Fabio? <laughs> <laughs> I said uh, a detail that I did like, That uh, another choice that I did like about uh, David was the fact that he was a teacher. Before, mm -hmm. uh, yes. before yeah, that yes. all happened, I was like, "Yo, that's so much worse." I think so I, I was tutored, like, "That's a great choice." I tutored <laughs> yeah. about that. I said, "I said, I said this very and to not spoil for anybody." I was like, "I was like that very specific piece of David backstory that they <clears throat> added makes mm -hmm. makes." Him so much Makes more it, all evil the and vile, menacing, creepy, and, diabolical, and horrendous. What was he teaching kids, and what was he even potentially doing to these children? Exactly, like, I would say that brings back to that scene that the, was about that was going to happen. What was okay, he doing look, in the school look, prior to the that, end of the that, world? Whoa! I did think he... I think I think that brings oh, up no, a very no, no, no. important point, uh, a conversation that I think has been going around on the internet on on on. Twitter specifically, you know, that that I think is very important to bring up. And look, we're all a, a cishet men, right? So this is might not be our our, be our so. position our position to 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 talk about this. Jessica Jones I just about saw, but 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 I, I think I think that you know that it does bring up a conversation that why why is the most traumatic thing that has to happen to a woman you know, have to be sexual assault. And, and, you know, I think that, I think that's a very important conversation to have. Mm -hmm. I think that's a very important point to, mm -hmm. to mention, you know, um, that, that mm -hmm. again, that we're not well equipped enough to, to c talk about, uh, um, on this podcast. Yeah. Speak but, on the matter. Personally. Yeah. yeah. But, but I do think, I do think right. that that is an important conversation to have. And, and, um, you know, I just wanted to point that out that I, I know that that's been talked about. And I do think that that is a very important, uh, conversation to have that yeah that that's why why do all these women or young girls in media uh you know being presented in a horrendous horrible situation that is the one thing that is the most horrendous that thing was, that can happen to them why do we keep you know tread you know changing these these same uh paths but but yeah i just wanted to mention that game game of thrones bro game yeah of thrones. i know the I know. same yeah thing. what yeah. you just said is the same thing i thought during game of thrones is like why are mm -hmm. we I, I, I get where they're trying to go and, and make this, you know make things happen, but yeah. Please. And I know in the game it was a lot yeah. more. It was a lot less obvious. It was a lot less. Yeah. Um, um, okay. it, was a lot it was just a little. 
that aspect of it was a lot less. It was more implied. Yeah, it was more implied than yeah. than, than shown. Yeah. Like you this knew it was, was like there, direct. but there he's just like, yeah, I don't yeah, want to mask off. Yeah, yeah. So and 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 I get it from like a, I guess from a. There's guys such a piece of shit, but it's like uh, we already understand that he's quite horrible, and you know, yeah, we don't really need to, yeah, go into that too much. But you know, again, uh, but other than that, that's the only really kind of like negative take I have on this, on this, or gripe, yeah, that I have on on this episode, this otherwise fantastic Mm. episode that I quite enjoy a lot. Is this uh, my favorite part? Okay, I was just gonna say my favorite part of this episode was towards the end when um Joel rescues her and says it's okay, baby. I was like, oh, that's yeah. I, was that's like I was like, yeah. I was like, that's... I was like, bro, pain, pain, I'm over here sad, tears, I'm emotional. Yeah. I, you know, I'm I'm one of the hardest dudes out here. You know, I don't <laughs> yeah. cry for anything. I cry all the time. Nothing affect, nothing affects me. Literally every episode. Yeah, I'm, un- I'm unstoppable. I'm literally just stone faced. I cry you know? animated. But <laughs> so when when I saw that, when I heard that, when I heard that, and just knowing what Joel's story is, and knowing how his <clears> connection <throat> to Ellie right. has grown over these last few episodes, mm. you know, maybe somebody was cutting onions when I was watching this show. Could have like, been. Could have been. Absolutely. Maybe a breeze came through. My eyes were leaking. I was like, dang, that's crazy. What happened? <laughs> Why is this sweat coming yeah. from my eyes right now? That's I don't know. That def- that never happens anyway. One thing also, <laughs> it's crazy hey, how good. Go ahead, no, no, go ahead, go ahead, please. Yeah, go go. Oh, Graham, rock no, paper I was, scissors. <laughs> I just think it's I just think it's crazy how this episode is so good. Maybe mm-hmm. top three episodes for me with no clickers. Mm. Yeah, no. no infected. Infected. I was about to bring that. Uh, you, I was about to say that earlier. You know, we it's haven't seen infected for a couple of crazy. episodes. Mm-hmm. Save for it's you know, been, we saw it a little bit. We last, saw it in seven, but I mean, it was like I mean, for but it's, the last. It's, yeah, yeah. it's the last same thing that we talked about before. How how in a lot of post apocalyptic stories or stories that deal with like monsters or creatures and things like that, it's all all of it. You know, the underlying story is really that the human beings are the real monsters that we need are to watch evil? out. You know, are the re- and so right. and you know, and, oh no, 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 that's I'm I'm not. No, I mean, no, <laughs> no that's right, something right, right. I made up no, or. Right. Or a trope that I invented. That's no, that's very right, true. Right, that right. that is the, the trope. Look at Twenty Eight Days Later. You know, it's the same thing there. And Walking Dead. Walking yeah, Dead. Like, that's a that's a very common trope and theme the, in these. The kind governor of, was the hero. Yeah, in these kinds of stories, you know. So, but so you know, at, it's not a you know, as, as a person who's kind of like <laughs> give me more action, give me more clickers, you know, and who is who's been kind of vocal about that um, uh, when reviewing these episodes in this show. I, I agree with you, Graham. The fact that they were able to make to just make a top three episode for me, despite no clickers whatsoever, dude. I was just like, "Damn, yeah, dude, they up? fucking did it again. But they don't miss." To add on that, to that point, that just goes that just goes back. Sorry, Graham, my bad. I was about to say that no, just goes good. back you to what you said, good. what you guys have been saying every time we do these episodes. It's the 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 team that's putting this show together, the writing, mm-hmm. the production team. They're not just making the, the show. Just like, oh, we have. You know, we have they're this show, bringing back. you know, they're doing mm-hmm. things right. And I know I, and I know also said it before. they're bringing actors in from the game. Exactly. And them ding, 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 ding. That is awesome. Uh, That's awesome. Troy mm-hmm. Baker and nice Ashley segue. Johnson. Uh, yeah. You know, so that, yeah, no, we like, can't do the segue yet. I'm uh, sorry. I got to stop you. Oh, why? I got to get my point down. Go on. Yes, talk. Talk. That Joel torture cool. scene. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Go yes. on. Word for word, oh, bar for yes. bar. when he, he was when he, when he when he when he took town? the knife and put it when he oh, said yeah. what when he got it behind he put, that, it, he put that knife put the knife in that man's kneecap. He's I'm gonna pop, I'll pop that kneecap, kneecap off. I was and like, what oh. when he yells, Woo. what is he saying? I was like, whenever he oh, when he's like, she's in the town. When he says, what, what town? town? I said, oh my fucking oh, god, yeah. this man has got it. I'm, That's funny because I, I know y'all that... saw me tweet that. I quoted a video on Twitter of the game, and I was like. Oh, Pedro's gonna fucking mm-hmm. murder. Them. Yes, I was like, it's not I have a gonna feeling be... so good. that Troy and Troy Baker like was sitting. Troy Baker was sitting back there while he's you know getting ready for his scene. No, he's getting ready for his scene. He's like, that's my boy. He doing. He, yeah. Yes, sir. That's my guy. I might be getting replaced no, now. You know? No, he's like, that's, that's the thing about. And also, the fact. Oh, go for it. Go for it. Okay, I was gonna say the fact that. Oh, I mean, I mean, spoilers, kind of a little bit. I was like, the fact that we just saw also again how ruthless he can be. With how he mm-hmm. just fucking executed them after getting his information, I was like, "Yes, snaps." The like, second, the second dude, he stood, he stood no yeah. chance. He said, bro. "He said he told you what he you wanted no to say." Right. 
I believe him. I believe him. <laughs> I believe him. <laughs> that, was cool. yeah. that was fire, said, Don't worry bro. about that it. Was I cold as shit. Uh, fucking, dude, that I believe was him. disgusting. Like, how many more? Also, how many more people we put in the pack? Insane today? that this man was dying yeah. of an infection, and he still managed to kidnap two people, torture them, and find out where Ellie was. Mm-hmm. That's and Navy Seals re- reverse right a little bit. And he he got up from being infected. This man got up out the sick bed. This man got oh, up out the sick bed and put old boy in the was it Josiah? Put old boy in the pack, bro. He looked like put a him Josiah up in the backwoods. I, he sp- he split him a, up. I was. I think like, that speaks, Yo. and I think that speaks volumes to kind mm-hmm. of like the the. Joel's character arc uh, as a whole throughout the season is that is that Joel is who he is and he's going to be true to himself and and maybe mm-hmm. yes he does resort to violence sometimes but maybe violence is necessary but I I, I think I think yes. I think I think, the like, root, I think what's important or the root the root is the root cause why is he being violent why is he doing these things at the end of the day Joel's got a big heart mm-hmm. and he cares about those and he loves who he loves very hard and he will do anything possible to make sure they're safe and to keep yeah. them safe and oftentimes it means making those tough decisions that no one else will make and i mean hey murdering people if if it needs to to, to keep your your tribe and your family alive you know and i just think i don't know man i uh, he's such a complicated character and pedro pascal is such a <clears throat> phenomenal actor that he's just hitting those beats perfectly every yeah. single mm-hmm. fucking time and i really like that 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 you brought up this scene Gerardo, because i think he's been very pedro pascal just this entire scene has been kind of subdued you know because joel joel's a very stony yeah. character right mm-hmm. he's very internal mm-hmm. a lot of his acting has been very internal there's Close. not a lot of external a- acting and 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 yeah it's Facial very small stuff. a lot of face stuff a lot of very gruff and kind mm. of just whatever and this episode <laughs> we we just saw a, just a little bit just a little bit like what down and i was just like fuck i was like yes yeah. Yeah. dude yes That's i was like it. i i need that i want that so bad and we're just getting kind of teased with just little bits and pieces but man i it just i don't know it was it was perfect shit smack man mm-hmm. it's beautiful i stood up out my i stood up on my seat i said yeah go Started ahead clapping. Boy. Started <laughs> yes, clapping. Sir. No. show him i said show him i said show him what you work with show them who you are show them who you are i turn into angela bassett for oh, like five gosh, minutes don't mention angela i'm so sad that she's not gonna win an oscar hey for a marvel not, movie it's, it's gonna be jamie lee curtis unfortunately uh okay. yeah no I'd prefer Angela no for best yeah, supporting she's actress gonna win it. I pro- I'm telling you right now fuck put that. money on it fuck that uh, pain but yeah I'm against it too but no money anyway that's pain. A- <laughs> is it, just be realistic yeah no I'm it, being serious she is yeah. she's got the entire uh, what's it called um she's got the momentum anyways the academy. <laughs> Speaking of momentum, let's go ahead and do whoa, a rating whoa, whoa. for this we, last you missed, of this episode. You missed a we very carry. important. Uh, aspect oh what i missed what did i miss shut up (laughs) troy baker (laughs) there is something else siri wants to be on the podcast no we did talk about troy baker by his character no not really for a second for a split second i interrupted we talked about david we talked about david oh well Uh, yeah so troy baker if you don't know by now troy baker is your og voice no 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 put some respect on it not just voice Motion capture. I was about actor. to say Troy Baker, he's the original actor right. for Joel. He is. He is, he is, he is, Joel. is Joel. Yeah, he's the original he Joel. Is, Joel. He, 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 is Joel. Joel. he is Joel. He is Joel. He's your OG yes. Joel. And um, like we said and he's before, also they're Batman bringing... in an animated movie. What? Yeah, Troy Baker's Sorry. a very <laughs> no. Thank Batman, you. The Troy Batman Baker's a very proficient and very uh, prolific uh, voiceover actor. Blew my mind. Uh, but, but more importantly, he's he he's, sure he's is? the uh, original Joel from the from the video games, and he is amazing and phenomenal. And yes, and he Troy played uh, James yes. in this episode, in this week's episode. And I think, I think he uh, uh, like tr- I know I say this about everybody, but he he was. So, amazing so bro he was so <laughs> good dude he was really i think hey, cause that, cause, hey, i liked his and character, yes, better that than character in the here's game the, here's the best is, part. is like a two-bit character nothing not an awful, nothing he has two lines exactly <laughs> and and troy baker did a lot with that character you can tell that he really mm-hmm. put in the, i mean as most actors do, like he put in the work, he, he had he to. built in the backstory, he built a he character. He put his whole Troy Baker scene. Yeah, he put his whole Troy Baker scene <laughs> into it. Yeah. The trust exactly, the trust the And I saw Hey, you know what you know 
I was just going to say one of the best things about Troy Baker, in my opinion, he's, he's from, from Texas Dallas, also. Texas, specifically. He, he's from Dallas? Yeah, Dallas, Texas. That's two Texans I'm fr- confirmed. I'm, I'm, from Houston, I'm from Houston, so I'm partial to Houston. But I, Dallas, you know, I live in I'm Dallas, in Dallas so for a few years. I'm down for I live it. Slide. I'm for it. Gross. I'm, I'm two I'm, hours away from Dallas. I live like I three hours shout away out, from Dallas. Shout out, shout out. <laughs> Shout, shout out, out to Troy Baker. Shout out to no, Troy Baker. Troy Baker, you are, you are always welcome I also, on the podcast. I saw floor, a tweet. Sure. We got Dennis saw Quaid. A, boo. And I saw, I saw Fuck that guy. That's Jack Quaid's father, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Jack Quaid's dad? <laughs> I said Jack Quaid's Petit father. I said. Yeah, I know. I'm saying. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, what I was going to tra- say is I saw, I saw a tweet happened, uh, that said, you know that scene where they spoiler alerts uh wait oh it's not really a spoiler where they shoot you know <laughs> uh, ellie's horse and she falls off and they're gonna take her back to david and that and, voice and james and the group of men come up <clears throat> and they're about to shoot her and the guy's like do it shoot her kill her i saw a tweet that said i feel like mm-hmm. he wasn't gonna kill her because he's evil but because they knew what david was capable of and he, what he was gonna do to her so they wanted to spare he her they wanted to save her as a mercy killing and I was like, oh, that is mm-hmm. so. And I, I, I yeah. took it as that the first time I watched it. I was like, yeah, because mm-hmm. that's what uh, Troy Baker's acting was doing the entire show. Yes. Yeah, he looked remorseful the entire exactly. time. He didn't look like he was like, yeah, fuck this little no. kid. He's like, no. I'm so he's sorry. Like, I yeah, do I don't it. like this guy. Yeah. I know what he's doing. He's a hor- horrible person, and I don't want you to go through this. And I was just like, oh, that is so such a neat little detail to pick up on. I just thought it was really great. Yeah. He yeah. might have told David he hadn't lost faith in him, but we knew. Mm-hmm. We knew. Also, mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, I might be wrong. Did uh, David say that they were going to eat the horse? In the show? In the show? I don't think so. I don't think so, right? They said bring it. They said drag the they horse. They brought it with, with them, though. Oh, he did? They said bring her okay, in. Good. I like, I love that line. Because in the game, he's like, he's like Talk about he said, don't worry. He's like, that horse of yours ain't going away. So some shit like that. And I was like, that's <laughs> insane. Like, that boy's just, crazy. He killed man. her horse. He's like, I'm gonna eat that bitch. But yeah, don't worry. <laughs> boy was wasting no time. He said that he's meat. He said meat is meat, <laughs> just like me. Don't care, like man. Me. It's a cannibal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yo. Hey, yo. Okay. <laughs> we all we all made the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you say? You want to rate that? You want to rate that episode? What? <laughs> I'm not <laughs> saying <segue. laughs> You're not avoiding. <laughs> you're not beating the we allegations can, right now. Ain't trying to beat them. <laughs> yeah, hey, I can't me, fight. Me, so me. <laughs> ain't beating <laughs> shit. You know? got oh him. my god, <laughs> we got him. Um, but yeah. So what's everyone? What's rating? everyone's? Yeah. What's everyone's rating for uh, the Last of Us episode eight? That's eight point five nine. Solid thumbs up. Oh, I'm about to say. I'm gonna say yeah, I'm gonna say 8.5 8. 8. I'm gonna go 8.5 lower, maybe yeah. lower 8.5. That's a solid. Um, because the Sam and uh, what is it, the brother Sam and Henry that's still that's still yeah. That's like the that's like the certified nine, yeah. nine and a half. And episode me. five, the one with so the clicker, like, right? This, this one. Mm-hmm. That yes, one. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. one, I'll that's give it. That's what I'm thinking of. I agree. Those that was man. That's a problem. Good. Though. A I lot mean, of these are all of these episodes are just so good. I don't think we've given anything lower than like a seven. I don't think we've given anything mm-hmm. lower than a seven this whole time. Have we given anything I, I a have. seven in this episode? I, I think I think it was okay, one seven, okay. but everyone's been like either eight eight or more, you know. And I'm I'm mm-hmm. kind of right there right now. I'm at like nine. Okay. Nine, Nine to nine point five, and that's solely because of Scott Shepard and Bella Ramsey's mm-hmm. acting. Like, yeah. and yes, and yes, of course, Troy Baker, Pedro, everybody else involved, they acted really well too. Right. But those two, that those two I mentioned at first, really, 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 really held it down. And I can't lie, I've never felt fear like that watching a TV show. I was scared for for Bella, and then she put that man up in the blender. I was like, all right, he now chopped cheese. That's what you get. <laughs> Turn him into mince meat, bro. The Aki way. So, yeah, <laughs> that, never, never. That, that shot. Can't forget, can't that forget shot the bell. Where it just it holds on Ellie as she's just she was going off. Yeah. And the blood God, was splattering. So good, man. 
That is called that is called elite cinematography, it's, my guy. That's filmmaking called at its incredible finest. acting. And f- yeah. Incredible acting. Top tier filmmaking. This is something that we. Should, that's something not to go. Oh, on so a tangent, I didn't rate it. Uh, seven and a half. No. Oh. What? I was that, seven and a half. That's that's I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not fucking with David. I'm not fucking with David. I'm sorry. I was about to say that's he weird. Not he like wasn't David. scary. He no. wasn't scary. He's too warm for you. Too like welcoming. Not menacing enough. He was too much of a little. Bitch. This was, this was, this was Gerardo. This was Gerardo when he saw this type of David. He was like, "Boy, <laughs> a balding David, weak." <laughs> oh, you missed the luscious <laughs> locks. Is what you throw some, ro- some more locks. Yeah, it was scary. He said, "Throw, throw some <laughs> Rogaine on this man and make Give him this terrifying. man a wig now." <laughs> <laughs> no, for real though. I mean, Scott Shepard. Also, Scott, I love you. I'm sorry. Yeah. I just, <laughs> that said nothing oh, yeah. to do with yeah. you. It this, is not, this is, not Scott, did a great this is job. not Scott slander at all. This is David slander. Yeah, fuck but that we love guy. Scott Shepard over here. I, we Scott I love we, we Scott better than, stands. The, than the video game interpretation. You're crazy. Play it again. I thought he was great. <laughs> I, 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 uh, He's still playing it again. I still mm. need to play it. I haven't. I still haven't played it. Nah, but Pedro, Pedro, Pedro at the end was a fantastic you know, being that f- the real father figure to Ellie. It's okay, and he's baby, also yeah. a father figure to another character that we're seeing, another character that we're seeing in um, The Mandalorian. Hey. Here we go. Daddy, Daddy Lorian. Daddy Lorian. Daddy Lorian. And Grogu hey. Jaren. Lil Grogu Jaren. Um, Grogu <laughs> Ernesto. Grogu yeah. Ernesto Rogi- Jaren, baby. Let's go. <laughs> De la Cruz. De la Cruz. Yeah, you Grogu like Ernesto. Grogito Gro- Ernesto Jaren. Grogito. Grogito. <laughs> Grogu oh, Chilean, baby. Let's go. No. <laughs> you got to be. Yeah, Chilean. Balmaceda. 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 Lord. Whenever, whenever Pedro, whenever Pedro listens to this episode and gives us massive props, they're going to make that his name in canon. That's going to be Grogu Ernesto Jarman. I'm telling you. Well, you heard it here first. <laughs> you heard it here first. D'Angelo. No. Wrong. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. These too many names. Nope, nope. Nah, but for real, just seeing um seeing Din come back and first of all, we didn't get to touch on the 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 first episode of season three because we're still, you know, hyped off of the the last of us and we had a lot of stuff going on that week for as far as other episodes and stuff we're covering. But since we're really into this one, happened, but... nothing too crazy. But you know, him him still... coming him pulling up and them killing that damn a crocodile or whatever, yeah, thing. alligator, yeah, and be, he he blew oh. that shit up. The Mandalorians are out there, and they're little. That little, was a great opening to the season. I thought, like, it was phenomenal. The also, right can there, we and then... can we use that to touch on something? What? Um, yes. yes. That scene confused the shit out of me because I know it was Baby Din like, at the beginning. I, baby I thought Din. it was Baby Din. Baby Din. Baby Din. But. What, what bothers, I did too, what bothered yeah. me about that is the fact that apparently it's been years since season since two. Season two, and like two years. That's not implied it's ever. Been a couple of years. Like, well, last time no, we saw... Luke and Yoda were together for two years. Yeah. Who? who how the fuck Luke did they? Uh, how are we supposed to know that? Luke and Grogu. Uh, Grogu. Ernesto. Ernesto Balmaceda. Jaren. Balmaceda. Uh, Luke and Grogu were together for two years, according to Fabro. Yeah, himself. he said that. What? Like, I don't really I, see how that bitch, works. Put it in the show. I mean, it, it's fine. <laughs> it works. Yes, put it in the show. I don't get they it. Got, they got to do like you. the Avengers. Why do I have to like read a tweet to understand what's going on? And it's just two years I, I later. Because it's but, almost like we should um, use the uh, opening um, text scroll. scroll. Yeah, text scroll. scroll. Yes. Star Wars. Yeah. They well, obviously, this, they needed this man some That clubs. would be fire, Loki. I agree. That would make sense, at least for the season yeah. opener, like the somehow season, two years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, yeah. like yeah. episode, yeah. like what? the Rise of Skywalker. I don't know. Somehow, yeah. Palpatine, I don't know what that somehow is. Palpatine returned. Uh, but uh, um, the, the mid think... of Skywalker. The the timeline is a, a little complicated. Strange. Yeah, because because um, it keeps shifting it and making it up as they go. Goes, They're just like, oh, actually, we need four years. Right. You know what? Two yeah. years here, five years here. And to to add to the confusion is this season two. Then we had that appearance in the book of Boba Fett, 
And I don't know where that falls now. Now that you mentioned, I don't know where that falls. That's as far as during timeline. the two year. That's during okay. the two years of Book of Luke Boba Mid. Being together. So then that happened. The <laughs> mid of Boba Fett. Book of Boba. So Book of Boba. There's probably the Book I, of I mean, Boba I'm Fett. just kind of guesstimating, but there's mm-hmm. probably a year <laughs> between. Ooh, I uh, think we just Fett like canceled our Star Wars season um, three. Yeah, I, don't, I mean. <laughs> Well, we'll we're, get it back. we didn't, haven't even gotten to like I talking think, about it. I, mean, I think I think great episode. I, I I have like, always and Gerardo knows this because we've talked about the Mandalorian all the time. One of the things that's very off putting to me about uh, the Mandalorian is just like how quickly everything happens and it's so fast. Like when the first season dropped, I was like, "Oh my god, dude, can we slow down or make these episodes a little bit longer?" I was like, "I just feel like." One episode, boom, done. Next episode, boom, done. Yeah, and I was like, now yeah. he's on a different planet. He's doing this. I was like, it just feels like a lot. And um, mm-hmm. the and this first episode felt like that as well, chapter 17. And then chapter 18 happened, and it seems like things kind of like slowed Jeez. down a little mm-hmm. bit. I was like, okay, here we go. I think that we're finally at this point where... I think that the story is, it's finally yeah. all kind of starting to click together. What they're It got to, to the point where they're like, this story. is what we want to tell. And now we're here. So we're going to do yeah, right. exactly. Right. Mm-hmm. Which I, I do agree. Season one is the run times of the episodes 30, are 30, awful. 40 minutes. I, I mean, yeah. I love, I like season one. The like that. I don't even, I, if the longest one in season one was 40 minutes, that's Being like too maybe generous. Giving yeah. them something. Cause I don't think the, Generous, like I want to say, the, it was like 30 35 minutes. I loved it. I, I mean, I like the show, but I do agree that some of it does feel a little rushed. And I know the first two seasons had filler in it, which y'all don't watch anime. <laughs> filler fucking sucks. We don't want, like, you know, like the uh, what is it? It was the second episode. That's crazy that we get this insanely good chapter 18 second episode of this third season. And season two, episode two was the Spider Lady uh, and the Frogs. That was, I like that the though. I thought it was cute. I mean, it's a fun episode, yeah. But you want to talk does about it, like, doesn't advance the, up the no. Story. But I also, I also think that. Story? But I no, think that that it doesn't. It's one of the be- also Grogu killed a bunch yeah, of children yeah. in that episode. In, in fantasy Grogu, side, Grogu, yeah, Grogu, yeah. Grogu's yeah. a murderer. Hey, yeah. hey, <laughs> my son, my son was hungry, bro. Let me. I just. I Literally, just think that that's one of the beautiful things about Star Wars, though, is, 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 is that, growing and, and I think in my, in the perfect world, an ideal world, think we would have things like Andor and then things like the Mandalorian, and those would be the two, that would be the spectrum, right? You have Mandalorian, which is more like, right. I agree, you know, more mm-hmm. family oriented, probably a lot more skews, skews a little, Fun. skews a little younger, weekly, yeah, kind of like, like Mission weekly, of the Week kind of thing, yeah. Weekly villain. Yeah, kind of. Mission of the week, yeah, like yeah, early and skews a little bit younger, kind of and the thing. episodes are shorter, and it's like a different, mm-hmm. uh, like the vibe is a lot more, it's mm-hmm. a lot lighter. And then you have things like Andrew, which is obviously a lot more adult oriented. Mm-hmm. The stories and the themes more are a lot heavier, 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 a lot more a lot adult, and the episodes are a lot longer, you know. And then we have everything in between. So I hope that Lucasfilm and Disney uh, takes, you know, I don't know, l- like listens to the fan. We're lucky yeah, we're getting the show I hope, this I hope good. they keep this up, and I hope that everything Honestly. falls in between those two, in, in, between mm-hmm. that spectrum. But, man, I don't know. I think Mandalorian was was nice. It's nice uh, to have it back because it feels like a nice little warm hug, and it's it's good to it's, be back. In the it's man, good in the to movie. be back. It's good, it's good to be back. And, and, you know, I may get some hate for saying what I'm about to say, but, you know, I would like to apologize to absolutely <laughs> fucking nobody. Um, <laughs> Obi- Obi-Wan, bro. Obi-Wan Mid- was... If we're going on in terms of like quali- quality of show, two packs of ass. <laughs> <laughs> that shit the was two packs part was of when ass. Darth Vader killed mm. motherfuckers, was breaking necks with the, his force choke, and that last yes! battle, and then that's it. And when he was holding yeah. Obi Wan down in the fire, what? And then or, he wouldn't walk through the fire. Yeah. I also didn't like how right everyone now, didn't kill Anakin then, or Darth and, Vader at the end of that. I and mean, he could have just completely avoided space genocide, I mean, essentially. <laughs> literally <laughs> everything. Yeah, literally, yeah, literally, yeah, literally, literally the everything entire after, original trilogy. Like, yeah, no. Just, what <laughs> <Walks> if? <away. laughs> but yeah, but no, I do think. 
I, I, I mean, I like the Obi Wan. Obi Wan, and then I'll also add Book of Boba Fett because what I was hoping to see, what we should have seen, didn't happen. And you know what? That's that's something that's that's something that Star Wars is gonna have to deal with. Yeah. And we as, fans, we as fans, we as fans are gonna have to deal with. Yeah, us too. It's, but I'm exactly saying like it's, it's not it's not, it's not, like, it's not like how Marvel has you know the multiverse and they can just retcon shit or say oh that's this universe, but you guys are actually now watching this universe. Star Wars is just right. Star, Star Wars, Wars can't one do galaxy. That. All types of shit can happen. But it's only I one wish galaxy. that they would get people to work on. Which I mean, I think the Mandalorian. There's little things that would change, but like Boba Fett, Kenobi specifically, get you a crew. No, that gives look, a fuck about the get IP you people that you're like, on, like writers and stuff. But but that that and, doesn't always that doesn't always work that's out what I'm either. Saying. You know, mm-hmm. I think look, uh, fucking what's his name, uh, Tony Gilroy, but... Tony. Did, did, hey, well, did, don't Tony, make a show Tony, about Kenobi. But Tony Gilmore like, doesn't don't... give a fuck about Star Wars. He does not. <laughs> yes, he does not give two Andor, shits. He does not give two shits about uh, Star Wars. Mm-hmm. He's just a fantastic, just a good... creative writer and showrunner. Right. Hey, hey. And so we true. don't say we don't say shit. We say no, we say yeah, bantha fodder. He doesn't give here. a bantha fodder about uh, da- about uh, Dank about Fair. Star Wars, and yet he made <laughs> give and a yet he's made Dank probably Fair. one of my top five favorite Star Wars properties ever. You know, so it's not necessarily about hiring fans. I think it's just mm-hmm. about hiring Agreed. competent people. You know, I'm not, competent people, people competent will take, writers. Yes, will, right. Just it, okay. It, that's it's about really what, what I mean. it's about not making fans, sure that the story but... they want to tell. Is the good story, right? What that's what I'm talking about. Why not make sure yeah. it's optimal and it is worth it's worth putting out? Kenobi to me, dog shit. I would yeah. much rather not yeah. have fucking had that show. Yeah, don't give me that Obi-Mid. show. Don't, like, don't if it's not gonna be up to par, especially with Obi-Wan? a legacy character yeah. like Kenobi. Obi Wan and you and McGregor, which it's you and McGregor. I'm gonna watch anything right. that, that man is in. I love him, and he really is. Um, any scene that he was Great Black portraying Obi Wan Kenobi, it's <laughs> it's good. Like his portrayal is great. It was just a mid show, but it's just so weird that they can make this Mandalorian this new thing so so good and give us this feeling of like Louis said, like a warm blanket. That's what we should have got with Kenobi. It should have been, that's been, what, almost 20 years since we've last seen Kenobi and Revenge of the Sith or whatever. You was it also, also, also something? Yeah, yeah, years, I was six years old. Know, Revenge exactly came. Bit, also something, yeah, uh, something that yeah. I want to uh, <laughs> point out really quick is that I just think the Mandalorian, I don't know what it is that they do or who, like, it looks am- amazing. Like, really Dude, good. <gasps> they pay uh, the artists. Like, book a, it's, no, they it's don't like what the they do with um, they just don't look, know the yeah, look, better and than I, season And I know one, they use but... the volume, and yes, I know there's been many yeah. like movies, like Marvel movies. Have you? There's, I know there's season been Marvel two looks movies amazing, and Marvel though. shows that have used mm-hmm. the volume. But man, I, I don't know what it is about the Mandalorian, or maybe it's just the setting that it just it it looks really, really the budget. Good. It looks and amazing. It's the budget. budget, yeah. So. You know, you know that shot of that shot of Bo Katan ship yeah. flying through the storm and everything. Going that, and it looks so freaking the real. Yeah. Ending on it looks so realistic. Yeah. I'm like that Man. shot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then the way the, the shot, way the ship like tilted the wings back. To, it, do it, the it, looks like it, like, yeah. it looks like it has weight. It looks like it has weight to the ship. You know what I mean? Like it's not just a a CGI. Which I'll, I'm gonna give a little shit talk to the prequels. None of that shit Ain't really no had way. weight to me. I love the prequels. I grew yeah. up to it, but it didn't look like that. Like we episode finally, three, episode three, we've greatest film of all time. That George, that dog fight. We've reached the at point. The yeah. of episode three still looks great. I don't care. Oh, that was the, it, no, it, that yeah. was the greatest incredible. intro to incredible. any Star Wars movie. Whenever the the, the, the forget this forget the title the I scroll agree. when it was just that doom doom and they fly <laughs> <and> they <laughs> in pairs and they. Ba, 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 I was like, I was like. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, and then and then uh, they flew. So they were, they were doing their little thing, and they flew over the ship, just straight into the battle. When, I was like, and, and because they're so close, like this friends shit. that they're making yeah. like the same space movies. Love, love that movie. I could dissect Gordy. it. It's so good. 
George um, Lucas when so, he was making Star Wars. No, for he was real. Cooking. Din Djarin's ship sick. that he has right now. It. The N1, the favorite. Naboo one. That's my favorite ship of all time. When, if it's on screen, it's so good. I'm like, shit. Honestly, it's, I'm so it's, fucking, it's, I'm, it's I'm, so I'm, good. That that's so beautiful. The way it sounds. The, the first episode of chapter, bro, uh, chapter 17. The way the it last sounds. Week's episode, the, the, it sounds like an old <laughs> a muscle car. It's, yeah, it's yeah. a space yeah. muscle car. It's so, it's it's so it literally has an exposed <laughs> edge. <laughs> in the front. It's a, this it's is a hot this I love it. This is, I love it. I love this is bar it. none. I, I know. I know. Everyone's favorite ships are like you that's know, fucking that, pod that, racing. The X. Everyone's like the X Wing is my favorite ship, or the Millennium the ghost. Falcon, the Ghost, or the Tie Fighter, the Ghost. Everyone's like this is my favorite ship. No, Mando's S One. I love the I Razor Crest. I like the Razor but Mando's N1. I do like the Razor Crest. I like the Razor Crest. The, 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 the N1 is like the, the, N1 is the sexiest, mm-hmm. most badass ship in the entirety of Star mm-hmm. Wars. It's I better. still like and hold Boba Fett. The, the, the second best ship. I don't know the name ship? of it, but. The second best ship is going to be. Scimitar! Uh, yes. no, Luthen, 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 uh, no, yeah. Luthen's ship. Uh-huh. Luthen. Luthen. And Luthor. Luthor. Yeah. Luthor. 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 Lex Luthor. His ship had that. It had that freaking lasers coming out the wings. The the jet. Yeah, that was. Yo, that I did forget. That might be one of my favorite scenes in Endor. That scene was so sexy, bro. When it it came out, and he was just like, "Yeah, yeah, that was sick as fuck." Do this, do this every time, made, please. Hey, hey, that shit might have kyber crystals in it because those are mm-hmm. like Death Star lasers. You know, that might be. Also, isn't this like the first time we've yeah. heard "May the Force Be With You" on a Star Wars show since well, since, like, since Kenobi? I don't know. It's been a while. Been a couple uh, episodes. Since, yeah, since Andor, the, since Andor, yeah. Yeah. they might have said it in the last one too. <laughs> Kenobi. No, they didn't. I don't, in Andor. Did they I don't, know, I don't think they said it in Andor. They for sure, they, they, in they for sure said it in the last season. No, of Andor, because, you know. because Tony Gilroy yeah. was like nothing. He said no. Zero there was no lightsabers. No, no May the Force Be With You. But he had Sith. He had he had Star Killer's armor in that bitch though. In, in Luthen's, um, yes, sir. Little um, that boy and Luthen. That just said, hey, and that ain't shop. just some slight Easter egg. I, like you can't. That's tell straight me up. That that's was straight up the Sith stalker armor from Force. That uh, is Force that is Star Killer. Has to be. So overall, has mm-hmm. got to be. Yeah. I will take. So, no, I will so, are we, are that? we excited for the season of Mandalorian? Do we like the first two episodes so far? Absolutely. Absolutely. These are my first. I'm gonna put these. Two episodes. I'm a, it's specifically the second episode in my top five, mm-hmm. and this is the best way that they could have started Agreed. this season after being gone for three years or how it's been. It's Cut been to the years. chase. You've got Skid to suck the bullshit, and Man, we're not. I'm, I'm, we're not counting the chase. Book of Boba yeah. Fett. No, f- hey, all filler or no yeah, filler. All, all killer, killer, no filler. All killer, no filler. How the there you go. But, yeah, you know, give me. Hey, we're putting I on a told t-shirt. You that they were going to be in the minds of Mandalore on the second episode. I could have. They kept mentioning it in the first a, one. Spoiler alert! He got uh, slurped which, I mean, up by the mythosaur. Before this season came out, you could. I didn't think it was going to happen that quick, and I'm fucking glad that it did. Now we've got a whole season of like really trying to get Moff Gideon back, you know, and yes. John Carlo. Ahsoka, they can't afford him anymore. All the upcoming shit, and we're gonna get <laughs> some sequel tie-ins. Like they will oh, yeah. be going they got into to. the cloning stuff, but I'm not gonna talk about it much. But the Bad Batch, the last two weeks as well, mm-hmm. not kept it's up. Two episodes of Star Wars the past two weeks, and they've all been fucking amazing. The last two Bad Batch episodes are the wow. best I've watched. Okay, no, gotta catch up. I think I think we're last night. I think was, we're. Uh, yeah, I think it's we're really good. Star Wars. I think Wars we're due for. A, I think no, we're for due sure. for a Star Wars episode. Soon. So Graham can cook. So mm-hmm. y'all stay tuned. <laughs> so Graham can go off. Graham can cook. So I can y'all cook. stay tuned. We're gonna have a Star Wars episode coming soon. A long, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away in a not too distant future. So. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Mandalorian season three, Fire. well done so far. We're excited to see the rest of this play out. It's great. You know, we do, we do still have one more episode of the last of us and then we will be, we will be switching gears fully from Pedro, the last of us to Pedro yeah. Mando <laughs> from 100%. From, from Pedro, the, from the Pedro, Pedro, the Pedro, the Pedro, Pedro still rolling. Dad. So, uh-huh. yeah, from, exactly. we're, we're literally just switching yeah. from, from earth to another galaxy. You know, that's, that's all it is. So, um, Yeah. We're just really, really, really pumped for this. We're pumped to see the rest of The Last of Us play out. We do have something special for today's episode. Since this is a Pedro-centric episode, 
Luis came up with the idea of doing a Pedro draft. Now I'm going to let him explain the rules, explain how we're going to play this, uh, this game out. <laughs> I so said it's going to be a regular draft uh, where we're, we're going to be drafting our favorite Pedro Pascal projects. Now we, I don't want to be too um, limiting in regards to whether we're going to pick <clears throat> the projects that we think are best or the performance that we think it's best. It's up to you. Like whatever, whatever your favorite Pedro Pascal projects are, you pick them. Now uh, I limited it to four picks each. Just because if, you know, that's <laughs> four picks each is kind of, and that's cutting it close. Like, we're going to get to a point where we're just going to be like, ah, I may not have seen that. Yeah, we're, we're going to run out of stuff, to, out do, of stuff to, to do. So <laughs> we're limiting it to four picks yeah. each, and we're going to go in uh, snake order. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, mm-hmm. four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. You get it? So that's, that's kind of the order we're going to go. And right here, I have a <clears throat> wheel of names generator. So... That's what's going to that's what's gonna dictate our oh, our order. Terrifying. Okay. So okay, here we go. Pull the, pull the lever. Okay, pull so the lever. here we go. Pull the lever. Okay, crunk. are you all ready? <laughs> so the person who is going no. to go first is Give it to me, please. Go. please Anyone else? Give it to Luis. Give it to Luis. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I haven't watched many Pedro Pascal projects. Matt. Matt is first. Okay. Matt is first. Let's go. Okay. So Matt. Matt is first. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh shoot, bro. Okay. And and remind me. Yeah. So just all of his, all of everything he's done, all his projects that he's done. So much. All right. Here we go. You know, being, a lot being of the pressure. first, being the first, first round draft pick, first, there first is pick, number there two. Is actually a lot of pressure here, by the way. Is Luis? There's so Luis is going. I know that's oh, a that's you position to be in, dude. I'm so freaking <laughs> upset. I'm so <laughs> mad. That's Luis. such a terrible. I'm right in the middle. I can't do anything. Uh, okay, <clears throat> here we go. Third I'm person scared. in the order is. Give it to Gerardo. Just, Just give, me <laughs> give me last. Give me last. Gerardo's last. So, Graham, that God makes Graham God. number four. Okay. He so, Gerardo's yourself, number bro. three. And Graham, Gerardo's number, I mean, and Graham is number four. All right. Number okay. Graham, okay. So, Graham here we go. Himself. What do you mean cursed? He gets two picks in a row. I do get two okay. picks, so and I've only go. seen so a couple Matt, of projects. Matt, you pick so, first. You know, this is it's great. I'm, can we trade? Uh, so this is, a, uh, this is a very... You want to trade your draft Would we picks? be able to? <laughs> yeah. We'll decide we'll decide we'll decide we'll decide to, we want to trade. You got to come up with a compelling argument here. <laughs> oh, is it... What, what, what a rule. Everyone can get one trade. Trade you if one you trade. Want. The rules. If you want. But y'all both have to what agree. That'd be insane. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Consent. Right. I'll be right back. Let's be a mutual... So, just vent for yeah. a little bit. Go. So... Right. So, well, man, I'm just gonna tell everyone I haven't really watched that many Pedro Pascal projects. I have. I've I, seen a few. I've seen I a like couple anime. of them. I wrote down. I wrote down a couple. Of, but holy shit, he's 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 not. He's been in a couple of things, and a couple of things are pretty dog watch. I, I haven't pulled up on my. That's my boy. He he was in a 2011 Wonder Woman pilot. I know with Adrian uh, Palicki. I didn't even know about the one that, that one. got canceled. Uh, is it? Is it her? Is that who this weird looking chick? Yeah, is she this Kaliki? weird yeah. looking chick? Dude, she just kind of she kind of looks funky in the Wonder Woman suit. Uh, <laughs> which that's kind of weird. I've never heard people of like this. you are the reason uh, that show got canceled. Excuse through. me. I mean, if you got a bad looking suit and you look bad in the suit, you're just not All right, it's just us. We got to cheat. All right. uh, what we happened? Find a did way Graham pick? For you to give yeah, me this did, did did Matt pick already? Nothing. We're not, we're not cheating. No, Matt's <laughs> gone. No, Matt, he just left. Why did Matt he go? Is like, weird. Go? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's first and he decided to leave. I think he quit. Wait, he for a left? <laughs> he Bro, I he think conceded. That, hey, I think the director... The director of this Wonder Woman really? pilot is Jeremy Renner's brother. Who? Jeremy Renner's brother? Why did, why did you leave? Oh, no, that's right. Why'd you leave? You were supposed to pick and vamp uh-huh. and just talk about your number one pick. For a second. <laughs> we're waiting on you. Oh, the Pedro, the, the 
He's trying to <laughs> bro, get some of the shots. Okay, go. What's your what's your number? What's the, what's your pick? Oh, it's co- that is yeah, right, ten right. seconds. Well, you've had enough time to think, so make your pick. <laughs> so I'm really having, I'm, and you know, I'm having a hard time deciding between these. Oh well, that narrows shows. it down. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, choose one. I was about to say, one, okay, there you go. Because whichever one you don't choose, it's going to be the next person. The last pick. of us. All right, just go. There's like, there's like a, there's like a three consensus number, like one A, one B, and one C picks. Yeah, number one pick. Yeah, it's, it's really difficult to decide. Well, it's not, it's not, it's not about best. best. It's about but like knowing your, your favorite. One, yeah. Your favorite, it, well, your favorite. That's what, I'm, that's what I mean. Like, which one's my favorite? Because these, these are, are all my favorite. favorite. I don't, I don't have any <laughs> negatives, but I love, I love all of these. Me holding every Pedro show and movie in my hand. Um, uh-huh. But as far as this, my first pick. Wow, it's gotta I was, be Narcos, bro. I was not Damn. expecting Ooh. that. I wasn't expecting Fuck. that, and I'm kind of fucking. That's God. what I was gonna <laughs> pick. Honestly, that's what I was gonna pick. Fuck. That's oh, what <laughs> Fuck you. And let me let me let me let me just explain real quick because Narcos is one of the first shows on uh-huh. Netflix I was really, really dialed into and I watched mm-hmm. like day in, day out, back and forth. Yeah. Everyone in there was acting their ass off. Boyd Holbrook um, was in there. Yeah. Boyd Holbrook in He's there. amazing. Yes. He's amazing He's in it. He's fucking incredible too. Yeah. I love I love him. He's great. I, I, you know, I, I, I really do. But a when I talk, this is not the Boyd Holbrook episode. <laughs> that may come in the future. This is the Pedro. This Pascal is not enough to be an episode. episode. And him. Him is amazing. him is Javier Peña, bro. One of the best, of all one time. of the best, most amazing castings in iconic this, in history, bro. And then the Narcos was so Narcos <laughs> was so good. They made Narcos Mexico. I think are they making another another another? I, don't know. I haven't heard series? anything about it. Kind of I think done, it's done, done. Sadly, even though Narcos Mexico should have a yeah, it should season. be going on till today. They're getting too close <laughs> to modern times. It should be going on till yeah. They, that's the problem. So you, can you yeah, so much you can work with. So yeah, I definitely think um, this is my first, first choice. Damn, Narcos okay. is my first oh. first choice. Oh, okay, all right, that's a good number one pick. So Matt went with Narcos as his number one pick. All right, so now it's my turn, and I think it can be basic. Watch, I am going have to pick. go. I want to pick this. I kind of want to. I could screw over Pet Idol if I pick this. Um, you won't. You trust won't. Me. Trust me. I, I have to go with my heart. I have to go with my heart. And I'm going to pick Game of Thrones as, uh, as my pick. Um, Good. Oberyn oh. Martell. Great choice. Thank you. I know. I know what you're going to pick. Fuck. Um, Oberyn Martell mm-hmm. is amazing. Mm-hmm. He's phenomenal, and he is probably one of the greatest TV characters of all time. And, Side uh, characters of is all a, time? And he looks good as fuck. And he was looking really. good and doing it, too. Like he a he was my good. So, uh, so, yeah, the Red Viper. The Viper! And that boy, that boy got, <laughs> yeah, so, that boy got packed so I'm going to go my first two picks. Um, that's my screen, I'm, that's I'm my screen. Pick, uh, Game screen of Thrones favorite. is my number one pick. Is my, my number one pick. Thank you. All right. I appreciate it. Gerardo. Damn it. Oh, I'm exactly never going to guess it mine. It's the last it's of us. Gotta it's gotta be. It's gotta be. Oh my God. Come on. No. Those are the top that's three. That's insane. Those that's literally the top three. heart. It's my, in my opinion. It's because it's in my opinion. It's his most iconic that's role yet. Crazy. Everybody fucking knows it. He's killing the game. No, I will, dude. I will get give. The fuck, I will give. Tell me. He's, um, tell me I will I'm give. Wrong. I will give Luis. I, you're not. You're not wrong, but you're not right. I'll give Luis some, and myself the uh, some grace here. We haven't seen the entirety Boom. of The Last of Us. The last. The last episode hasn't come out yet, so we can't make it's a, a final. Game of Thrones game. is his most iconic role, I think. But. No, it's mm-hmm. his most well known, yeah. maybe, but it's not going to be. It's, My it, well, answer may be it, it's not going to be regarded as his best. Fuck. That is a bet I'm willing to take. I will You'll die, die on, on this fucking hill? hill. Get out of here. I'll die on this hill. Cool. That's the hill the he's dying on. That's me. I'm on the hill of. Those are. I don't. Know. That's like. <laughs> That's like three of the five projects. Really? Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> Graham's running out of pick random stuff. 
He's gonna be like Three Wonder Woman. He only knows his next two yeah, choices. Even though I... <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. Um, All right, so Graham, you you pick. Dang it, man! All right, uh, he was in the Kings. He was. He the, was the Kingsman movie where he, he was. was, yeah, he was. Uh, yeah. You don't need to talk whiskey. about that. Jack, no, Jack Daniels uh, or whiskey. Agent whiskey. The whiskey mm-hmm. guy. Agent whiskey. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, and I don't even so is that really like pick? the Kingsman movie, but that's okay. I like him it's in that. Yeah, that's my pick. All right, Kingsman. Well, I was gonna pick Ga- literally. I mean, uh, Game of Thrones, uh, Kingsman, is like my the first. Golden Narcos is Circle. Like well, now you go. Now you get to go again, pick. Graham. Um, yeah, I actually really like that Kingsman, movie. I, I, I mean, great. Mandalorian. The Mandalorian. The fact that Mandalorian fell. Fell to number five. Oh, motherfucker! Is insane. Mm. No, too late. I'll replace I mean, that with it, my so first matter. pick in the first draft. So, okay. But the fact that the Mandalorian to say, yeah, fell to pick number uh, five is He's absurd. Just... It is That's a travesty. Crazy. Yeah. Tra- a travesty. No, but it's mainly because it I feels, thought it's it feels more illegal. Than Kingsman, and I love the fact that he. That I mean, is a Western there's guy. a rule. Like there's a would, rule that you can't like have my face shown in the Mando. Was doing most of the acting. This is true. This is true. This is the way. He does right. His voice okay. is great. Okay. He's got a Carago? great voice. That's why it failed the number five. Pick. So I am gonna pick an absolute banger that not everyone here's seen, uh, but it's one of my favorite projects. From what is it? Oh, please don't take mine. I doubt it. Oh, you're going to piss me off. I doubt it. Me Bruce off. is going to take yours. Um, I'm going to take you my prospect. son of a bitch. Because prospect I fucking is a fucking God banger. damn it. Is I that the sci-fi one? Oh, I love it. I love it. God. I love it. I love it. Fuck you. I've heard it so, yeah, I've heard I, it so good. I, I, I found that movie randomly by accident yeah, I've heard on that's Hulu so good. a couple God years ago. damn it. And just have not regretted it. It's the day so since. It was so fucking incredible. Really? I love a good... I love I a good, to watch uh, it. low budget sci fi movie. We need more of them. We need less Star mm-hmm. Wars movies. We need more yeah. independent sci fi movies. Uh, Banger. Facts. All right, Luis. I'll leave it to you. Understand. That was my I number agree. two pick. I agree. Luis, okay. we know what you're going to you? pick. It's fine. All right. Why? Well, well, since you I know what you mean. Yeah, I do. I'm taking Triple Frontier. <laughs> You motherfucker! I, I, yeah. You took my I knew it. I, I had fucking to. I, had That's, to. I was uh, hoping Pedro someone Pas- was gonna say Pedro that. Pascal, but, uh, that was my Isaac next. In literally movie, my next. Bit. Ben Affleck, all three Latino daddies gets to smoke they, that pack. They look sexy as fuck, and they look cool as shit. <laughs> uh, yes, please. I fucking love this movie. This movie is yeah. is if you're looking for like a. I just don't like the I, ending. I don't either. I think the decision making is stupid. But if you like, true. Whoa. I, I think the movie kind of is. Triple Frontier fucks. <laughs> hot take. Anyways. I'm not taking those yeah, kind of anyways, 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 anyways. Yeah, hot take. I got to throw it in. Grand who has seen yeah, like I think like five that, total. Uh, this movie is, is awesome, and uh, <laughs> I love everybody in it. Well, not really. I don't like uh, Charlie Hunnam or Garrett Hedlund. So. Uh, but Pedro and Oscar. I like Charlie Hunnam. But Char- Charlie, who? Charlie Hunnam was who? out there in Sons of Anarchy. I mean, who? Garrett Hedlund is just Garrett exactly. Hedlund, bro. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, Charlie Frontier. Hunnam. That's, hey, 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 hey. Oh, no, Pacific Charlie Hunnam Rim, from, bro. from Pacific yeah. Rim. Triple Frontier. Go to my number two. Go to That's all you Matt, need. Number two. Charlie Hunnam, hey. next draft. Charlie Hunnam, great. <laughs> Charlie Bro, draft. man, y'all done took my <laughs> shit. We do a Charlie Hunnam draft. Then we do a Garrett Hedlund draft, too. Tron Legacy and Triple Tron, Frontier. Tr- Tron and, and Triple Frontier. And a, and a bunch of cartoons, probably. <laughs> no, oh, and King, is he in Kingsman maybe, too? Yeah. Oh, no, he's in the other shit. The anyway. Anyway. Oof. anyway. <laughs> uh, damn, y'all, y'all whores done took my answer. So, um... Fuck it, I'll go on a limb here. Oof. The unbearable way to mess Okay. Pack. Take it. That's fine. Yep. And that's because he was the best part of that whole movie. And, Nick Cage and you like, know what's oh, crazy? Luis and I saw that opening together, right? opening weekend, right? The weekend came out. And we went to the AMC and like literally half the theater was empty. Because it was it's a small right. movie. But we were the main it's ones right. cheering. So. Right. <laughs> it was a small movie. It was okay. You it was a good time to go again, man. Nick Cage is being Nick Cage, but Pedro. Oh, shoot. Yeah. All right, here all comes the, the difficult the part because now all the bitches are like gone. gone. No, no, They're no, really no. Bad. I got one. The banger, banger Roonies are gone. Nah. The, I'll take the book of <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Damn it! Really? <laughs> Wait, Let's Graham, go. that's insane. You were gonna go, take please. Mandalorian and the Book of Boba yeah, Fett. Because he's seen, he's seen <laughs> the, the both of them. Yes. The same role. <laughs> yes. That's all he's seen. I've actually seen him. Now he doesn't know what to I choose. Just, I just found two things. Book of Boba that Fett. Okay. I, um, I didn't know he was in one of them, but. I, I had to because okay. he took because he took Mando from me. I had to take okay. from here we me. go. God, and it's I'm only because this. he's in those episodes. That Please, episode. oh I'm gonna tell God. you right now. Take it, or you're gonna get angry. Take it, or you're gonna get angry at me, or I'm gonna get angry. At oh you? shit! Or you're gonna get angry oh, at me. Oh shit! Yeah, I go ahead don't and take know. It now. I don't think we're talking about the same thing. I'm gonna take one thing, and I'm gonna take I it right guarantee now you because we are. nobody else has seen it. Um, and and I know. Yeah, uh, I was gonna take it. No, I know exactly where you're gonna take. Oh. Um. No. I'm going to take If Beale no. Street Could Talk. Uh, oh, I wasn't going to take that. And that is... Uh, oh. It's a, a good movie. One. It's a... Very Jenkins joint. Is that a show or a movie? With uh, Coleman Domingo, right? That Coleman Domingo's in there. I think so. I, I think don't remember so. off the top of my head. Um, but it is a Barry Jenkins. He movie. is. Barry Jenkins directed Moonlight, and that one Best Picture. Mm -hmm. uh, and Moonlight is one of my favorite movies of all time. Talk True La La Land, of all time. that pack. Fuck and, that movie. Uh, Beale Street could talk. Yeah, La La Land pack. Uh, if Beale La La Land pack. Talk, if, if Beale Street could talk is a fantastic. I <laughs> got him. Clearly, you nice. can't. <laughs> if, Beale, fuck you, if Beale Street could talk is a fantastic movie. It won Regina King for Oscar. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm gonna take it because it comes from a well fantastic deserved. filmmaker and it's a fantastic, beautiful movie. All right, Gerardo. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. Least, this is going to make you don't, angry because I only take watched don't it. Don't take my backup. I don't take my backup. I only watched it because you said to, to oh, me you that was your mistake. Bitch. I'm going to take no! Fire Leaf Gasoline. It's a, mu <laughs> it's a music video no! that he was in. And my boy was looking oh, good. Oh, my God. My boy was looking good. You shouldn't have I said that to me. I thought it was pretty cool. Minute to take it because I didn't think anyone was going to take it. It's a music video for uh, for a Sia You told me about song. it. I was going to yes. say it was Sia. Sia. Oh, I oh, hate you my God. Banger. so much. I told you. I told you to pick it. I you should have known what I was talking about. Talk I haven't even seen Bill you know Street. Barry Jenkins. Dog, I haven't seen it. Fuck. I told you I don't Damn. know that movie. <laughs> I should have taken it. Damn. Damn, pain that was for my, him. That was my uh, immediate pain. All right. <laughs> that, was that was your finisher. finisher. All right, Graham, you got two picks back to back. So <laughs> <good> <laughs> <luck. laughs> Graham, take what? Graham, yeah, take one okay. and then um, take uh, Equalizer. You're for real taking um, it? Uh, yeah, Wonder Woman 1984. It. Fuck no. Okay, Wonder Woman 1984. He's the, he's the <laughs> you got one more else? pick, and it's uh, your yeah. last pick, so go for it. I don't know. I don't know anything else. Um, he he wasn't an equalizer. He was. Yes, he was. No! <laughs> equalizer two. That's what I'm gonna pick. All right. That's what equalizer I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick two. equalizer two. Okay. Uh, get out of the last Graham. pick. <laughs> Hold on, I'm writing Grams. I got him. I'm writing all of our. They're, in the, they're in the emotional damage um, the document. Emotional uh, This is hard, damage. honestly, because I haven't seen. Let me see. I haven't seen any of these. I'm sick to Wait, my no, stomach. Wait, no, I have seen bro. one of these, but I'm not picking I know where I'm picking. Because it's garbage. Um, Cause it's please, garbage. Please, what are you picking? You pick and then I'll pick right after you, so. No, nah, bro, you tell me no, so I can go. pick it first. <laughs> All right. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to pick the ball. No! <laughs> no, wait. Can I change my answer? That's Ew, what? That's, it's I not final. Can I change my answer? The bubble. Yeah, can I change what? my answer? The Mentalist. <laughs> no, that was my pig, bro. <laughs> no, I the think mentalist. he was just looking okay. for match That's reaction. Not the worst answer you could have picked. Yeah. He was in nine. He was in what nine episodes of The Mentalist? That was the worst was the, That was the worst one. Is the great one. Yeah, so okay, he's in. He's like my seven turn. episodes. My last pick on this Pedro Pascal. Um, God dang it, bro! I'm Ooh. going to pick pain, bro. I'm sick. I know which one it the is. Great, the Great Wall. But I don't also. Don't do this. Ah, oh, no I'm fucking The Great way. Wall. Oh. Are Matt you Damon. Kidding? Yeah. Oh Isn't that God. the one it's with Matt Damon? Damon. Movie. It's, it's Damon. horrific. But it's the horrific. First, like, one, like one of the first big horrific, movies I saw but... Pedro in. And he looks good as fuck. So, that, uh, yeah. yeah. 
I literally don't remember him being yes, in that movie. No, I think he might be making this. That movie. was what he was doing in Game of Thrones, shit, and he was great, looking and good he have back an awful then. Lot to do, but he he did his best, and he's doo doo. It's great, and he looks amazing, and that's it's all a project. Doo-doo. It's not his <laughs> best his last pick, project. That's you, his yeah. what? Facts. I agree. God damn, bro. Y'all done took all my shit. <laughs> the Great Wall has a 35%. Let's numbers. go. <laughs> it's actually it's actually terrible. It's you still like got you still you can pick so something. bad. Oh my god. Uh, what is it? I, I do have one for you. No, wait, wait, I do wait. Have what one. Is it? Blood? Yeah. Blood? Yeah. Oh wait. You said King's is already off the table, right? So he doesn't have one. Already no, he do you want uh at least said I couldn't pick this one? Can I can I give you a suggestion? Oh, I got yeah, it. Go ahead. That's exactly that it. was the Graceland. Okay. I was Graceland. thinking Charlie's going to say the Disney, but... yeah. the Disney making of the Mandalorian. Oh, yeah, not because Graceland. <laughs> that's boy, I told him that it's a movie. Count. That doesn't it's count. Yes, it does. Okay. He's then, in then, it. No, that doesn't then I'm count. Taking, no. Then I'm putting it's project. It does count. That's like saying the making of the episodes he, for the last like one. Why not pick the music thing, video? Yeah, I picked the music video. He's but that's, that's sep- that's okay. I'm kidding. I... Okay. Okay. So that's your final answer is Graceland? <laughs> okay. So here we go. So here's the final. Here's... Yeah, I put Graceland. We're locking in. Answer. Oh, no. Yeah, we're we're, locked, in. we're, we're locked in. List. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Do y'all want to trade anything? Uh, Please, I'll, I'll trade. trade you if oh, yeah, I'm not switching. For Draft pick trade. I'll trade you triple Absolutely. for Fire Meets <laughs> 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 All right, then you're and not going to trade with Graham. I'm not switching no, with Matt no. or Graham. Hey, I'll trade you. <laughs> I'll trade a hey, Gerardo. I'll trade. I'll trade you the Mentalist for Grace. No, I'll, uh, I'll take Narcos though. <laughs> Hell no, boy. <laughs> Hell oh, no. No. Yeah, give me your whole list. whole list? Hey, for Gerardo's whole Hell list, no. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll take... If you give me give me The Last of Us, I'll give but you But honestly, Narcos. if Gerardo just says Hold Narcos... On. Wait, I, Matt. I mean, I'd make that What trade. was that again? I'd trade my whole list for Narcos. You said, I said, give me, give me The Last of Us, I'll give you Narcos. <laughs> no. No. Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> Horrendous. So Horrendous we're all, trade. We're all locked in? Final, final, <laughs> final Carado decision. Said. We're all locked in. <laughs> final answer. At least okay, I'll so trade you. I was locked in. So I'm in. I'll trade you prospect for triple. No. Wait, never mind. No. No, nice try, but that was no. Okay, so here, here are the final answers. Oh, Luis, Luis, I'll trade you. I'll trade you um, unbearable uh, weight and Louis Graceland God. for triple frontier. Because I'm in the two for one special, baby. Oscar Isaac and Pedro Pascal is done. <laughs> and, yo, y'all let and me you to see Ben Affleck get shot. Your drop to seventh place. That's on y'all. Seven, nine. Or something, well, yeah. I was. I had to. T- I had I to was take prospect. I couldn't see anything. No, take, you didn't. It was on my list. Uh, I had to take uh, last of us. Me. Not Graham or Matt. Yeah, which is why I had to take it because I That's fucking love exactly. that movie. You could have saved it. Because I wouldn't have taken Prospect. I would have. I had to take Last okay. of Us and well, I had to take Prospect. That's okay, a, so here's the final, no. the final list. Matt. Let's get a drum roll, drum roll. Okay. Matt. Narcos. The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. The Book of Boba Fett. And Graceland. Mm. <laughs> fire. Mm. Fucking fire. All right. Crazy. No one's Luis. seen that. <laughs> All right, Luis. Fire. Next. <laughs> Fire. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Luis. Oh, my God. Game of Thrones. <laughs> Triple Frontier. If Beale Street could talk mm. and the Great Wall. Mm. Okay, here mm. we go. Okay. Oh, boo. He chose the Great Wall That's over the Bumble. Bumble. Yeah. That's Dog shit, bro. It's ass. Trash. So is the, the, looks, looks great so wall. the Great Wall. He, he looks way better okay, in the anyways, Bumble. Head out of those lists. He's, that the scene where he's wall. asking them if they want to have Why sex with them? It? Come on, bro. Why don't you pick Incredible. it? Cinema. <laughs> you pick something you've never seen over the <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I know it would bother someone. You haven't seen the Mentalist? Give me, give me my, my, give me my show back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Gerardo, I'm unbearable. Drum roll. <laughs> the Last of Us. Prospect. Bad, Fire meets gasoline. Greatest pick of the entire draft. And The Mentalist. Mm. Okay, it's here good. we go. He stole my shit too. Stole my shit. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> I, have, I have a bad. 
Yo, <laughs> yo, you said it, man. The first Graham, how did you grab up from the get go? Respect, this is a dog shit list, bro. This is ass. <laughs> y'all took the three. Y'all took the three shows that I yeah. have watched. Here They're obviously his best list. shows. <laughs> Drum roll. <laughs> and list is being generous. He's got Kingsman, the Golden Circle, The Mandalorian, <laughs> Wonder Woman, nineteen eighty four, and The Equalizer. Graham is one for Ooh. four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, Graham had a. a... To be fair. To be fair, I'll he's great. That he's that Kings, he's yeah. the best part. I'll take that L. He is. He is. I he is, he the, is the, the best he part. He is the best part. Yeah. I'll take that L. Damn. Damn. Fucking Narcos and Thrones. Mandalorian Jesus was literally Christ. right there. Two of his you didn't greatest shows. Two of his three yeah, greatest shows. Two of my like favorite shows. No second. Round. You took a second round. He didn't have to. I did. He didn't took I? a second. No, he took Kingsman. He well, didn't I have to though. I was taking Kingsman to be honest. Hey, you know. <sighs> They're on the list. I would have too. They're you know, honorable honorable mention. About to say honorable we mention. Be, I should have taken that instead of the Great Wall. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to take. I should have said that one. Yeah, you know what? I wanted to take my dentist murder. Is that a seventy four? Because I think it's going to be good. Rose does so. It, it is. is. Yeah. It is. It's in the Spy Kids yeah. universe, isn't it? What is? We could be heroes. Adult it's in the, the Spy Kid cinematic universe. SKCU. It's in the SKCU. What? Oh, the next? The Skaku. The Skaku. <laughs> oh, it is Robert Rodriguez. Holy yeah, shit, it is a sequel it's to It's bad, Star though. It's what bad. the fuck? <laughs> Graham's life has been changed Ew! in yeah, unimaginable ways. Yeah, no, that His life has been altered. Well, now be because I'm going to get really fucked up one night and turn it on. Yeah, your child. Really upset that I just like tainted my thoughts on chocolate and love a girl. Yeah, you're gonna hate life. Graham's gonna wake up the next day like, why did I do this to myself? Oh my, oh my god. Okay, I do remember when they were dropping posters for these, but hey, I Danny can't Pedro's wait. That's in why it. I, I watched watch it. it. Hey, that's what we're here for. That's all we're here for this episode. We're here nah. because we're yep. here solely for Pedro Pascal and Pedro Pascal alone. But as far as this as far as this episode today, that's a wrap for today's show. We appreciate y'all watching or listening to our channel. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at the Podtastic Four, the number four, to stay tuned to everything coming up this year. <laughs> Go ahead and Chewbacca smash that MF like button. Show us how much you enjoyed this episode by leaving us a five star review wherever you listen to this podcast. Send our podcast to you and YouTube channel to your friends. Your enemies, your family, Jedi, Sith, Mandalorians, <laughs> Grogu, everyone, uh, astromech droids, co coworkers, posting your R5. group chats, nice. putting the hollow net, put it everywhere. But thank you guys so much, and we will see you next time on the Podtastic Four. Bye.